Welcome to this one, two, three, four video Excel data analysis class. We'll learn how to use pivot tables and formulas, Power Pivot, the free Power BI desktop, and then we'll learn how to deal with big data using both Power BI and Excel. Also, even if you already know how to use these tools, as we go through and learn each tool, we'll compare and contrast to see when and where to use each of the tools. A pivot table, Power Pivot, or Power BI. Also, this class covers the hows and the whys of how to use these tools. And I'll present lots of visualizations to make those complex topics easier to understand. All this to give you a solid foundation for data analysis. Now we're going to look at different tools for performing data analysis. So it's helpful up front to think broadly why we use each tool. Now why do we use pivot table and formulas? Because they're fast and easy. Features like group by date and show values as calculations are faster and easier than in any of the other tools. Now why use Power Pivot or Power BI? Well, in Power Pivot, we can make data model pivot tables. And in Power BI, we make visualizations. But both tools use the amazing new DAX formula language. And this allows you to make reusable formulas that you can use over and over. Also with DAX, we can create some complex calculations much easier than we can in the worksheet or with standard pivot tables. And we'll have a new feature called Relationships, which replaces VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP functions. And with both of these tools, we're allowed to use big data. You have a million rows or a hundred million rows, no problem. Now with Power Pivot, we make our data model pivot table so we have that awesome user interface that we're familiar with. But the cool thing is, we can build our data model with our DAX formulas and relationships, and then with a click, we can send it over to Power BI Desktop. Now why would we want to do that? Because the visualizations in Power BI are unmatched. They're easier to create. The visuals are interactive and all sorts of other amazing features. Now in our last video, we'll actually have a big data set with 7 million rows. And we'll get to see a bunch of common DAX formulas used in analysis. Now wait a second. There's one more tool, Power Query. But Power Query is in all of these tools. And it's what we use to go and import clean and transform the data. Now in the first video, we'll take our one, two, three tables. We'll use Excel worksheet formulas to calculate our columns. And then we'll create a yearly monthly report with a chart to show the trends over the three year period, a region and year sales report. We'll have to do this crazy calculation where for each one of the products we sell, we're going to have to calculate the average monthly sales for the full three year period. And then we'll finally create a supplier sales report by year. Now when we get over to Power Pivot, we're not going to have to use worksheet formulas. We won't have to use VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP. Instead, we'll use relationships. And then in Power Pivot, we actually create our formulas, format them, and name them. And then we get to reuse those formulas in every new pivot table. And then what's called a data model pivot table will build one, two, three. But this third example is going to blow your mind. Because when we have complex calculations, Power Pivot makes it much easier than using worksheets and a standard pivot table. And then there's our fourth report. And then when we get over to Power BI Desktop, it's amazing. We build our visualizations, and they're interactive. I can hover my cursor and see a tool tip that tells me various metrics. And when I click on one of the elements in the visualizations, everything else is filtered. Click back, and it's unfiltered. 
And when I come over to this new visualization and click, bam, everything's filtered. And when we have a line chart, we simply hover. And there's that tool tip helping us to gain more insight from our visualization. All right, so stay tuned for one, two, three, four Excel data analysis videos. And we'll see you in the next video, video number one for pivot tables and formulas. Thank <laughs> you.